authenticate your email for better delivery. Email is a fantastic way to stay in contact with your customers and subscribers, but has always had one flaw since its commercialization in the 90s, and that is legitimacy. It is very difficult to identify a legitimate email from a fake one. How do we fix this? So let's find out. To solve this problem, standards dictate that we should be authenticating any email which you send. This goes for both your office-based email and your email marketing. Authentication helps service providers such as Outlook quickly identify if your email is legitimate or if it's someone trying to impersonate you. Without authentication, service providers may get a little suspicious and reject your email. With authentication, this informs the service provider that your email can be trusted and should be accepted. So, what is authentication? When you send an email to an Outlook user, for example, Outlook will have a quick look at the settings that go behind the scenes with your email. There are two very important things that they will look for. This is a DKIM signature and a valid SPF record. Having both on your email will help identify if your email is legitimate. Thankfully, authentication only needs to be done once and will cover you for every newsletter that you send in the future. So it's well worth taking a few moments to set everything up. How do I add authentication? Authentication can be done by adding a DKIM and SPF record to your company domain name. Both these records sit behind the scenes. When you send your next newsletter, the recipient email server will look at the SPF record and the DKIM record attached to your email and perform a quick lookup on your company domain name to check if this email really was sent by your company or someone pretending to be you. So, in a nutshell, authentication falls in two parts. The first part is having the correct signatures on your outgoing newsletter, and the second part is having the matching keys to authenticate it on your domain name. When you authenticate your domain name with Email Blaster, Email Blaster will start automatically adding authentication to your emails. So, we take care of all the techie side for you. But as mentioned, you need to make a small update to your company domain name. How do I add it to my email blaster? Adding authentication can seem a little scary at first, but we've put a huge amount of effort into making this as simple process as possible. Inside your email blaster, head over to your sender profile screen. Any sender profile which is not authenticated will have a yellow warning triangle next to it. Click on the warning triangle to follow the quick start guide. If this all sounds foreign, don't worry. We have a downloadable guide on the sender profile screen Download it and send it to your IT team. This provides everything that you will need to get up and running in no time at all. Will authentication really help? In a nutshell, yes. As we discussed, adding authentication demonstrates the legitimacy of your email. And as such, major email service providers know that you can be trusted. This then opens the door to much better delivery and a lot more benefits. For example, Tech Republic report the following. Mail authenticated with DKIM tends to be delivered to an inbox. Mail that fails the test more likely gets put in the spam folder. But the benefits go even further. If you're emailing a Gmail user with authentication, this helps images load by default. No more having to click on the load images button. Also, have you ever noticed sometimes when you read your email newsletter, you see a little bit of gibberish near the top along the lines of delivered via then some random characters. This is showing the route that your mailer took. Adding authentication will remove this line in nearly all email readers. And finally, when using Email Blaster to authenticate your emails, we now use the 2048-bit key length for DKIM authentication. This is the new standard that Google is recommending everyone upgrades to, and it's been speculated they reward it with better delivery. So there we go, that's hopefully the topic of authentication demystified. I hope you found this useful and informative, and if you have any questions or comments, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and catch up next week. <laughs>